garage door opens. It is Saturday morning. We are headed to finish off our grocery shopping. Yay! It's actually not bad right now, I don't think. Do you think? Oh, it's nasty. It's cold. It's wet. <laughs> it's okay, so question. Question of the day. So I had to get some readers because I'm wearing my contacts. Charles says, I look like a old woman. Do I look like an old woman? I don't know. So, all right. Let me know if I look like an old woman. <laughs> so this is a stock up haul. We are definitely spending more than we would on a monthly, but that's okay. Sorry, getting in the car. That's all right, because it's gonna feel so much better have everything stocked up and not have to fight the cold, the sickness, and all the other stuff. I gotta get my seatbelt on, and we'll see you guys after Aldi. Okay, real quick, we paused because Charles had to run and see a neighbor. Y'all, <laughs> there's such a difference in me and him. He is a neighbor lover. When the kids were little, I would so take, you know, brownies, and I was the neighborhood greeting kind of person. And that has changed. Now, you know, anybody comes to the door, I'm like ducking and hiding and like, go away, go away. And I run in the house if I see people outside. I have changed so much. And Charles is like, oh, hi, let me come talk to you. <laughs> But um, this is actually neighbors that are moving that are offering us a table. They texted us, Ash babysits for them. So he ran to, to tell them that we had a friend interested. Anyway, I wanted to say real quick about um, Sam's. And I'm going to give our honest opinion about Sam's. Okay, we are Costco people. Um, we have been Costco people for many years, but we took last year off of all the stuff so I wanted to try Sam so I asked my mother and said you know Sam's membership would be a great Christmas gift so she got a Sam's membership guys we are not thrilled with Sam's at all um at all right babe no not really at all uh we definitely prefer Costco all the things that I love at Costco none of it was at Sam's I don't feel like it was better prices I don't feel like it's worth it at all so that is my personal opinion. I know some of you are Sam's lovers. We probably will only go back for things once we figure out exactly what was a good deal of the stuff that we bought. We just feel like we could have bought the same amount of stuff or spent that much at Aldi and gotten so much more. So, but we wanted to go check it out. We did. And now I know I'm definitely a Costco gal. So I just wanted to tell you guys that real quick. Now we are on our way to Aldi. And I'm already looking a mess. <laughs> it is so much better when it's with me. And uh, you know, it's easier to stay on budget. Weekly shopping, I feel like, but at the same time, it is so nice to be one and done. The monthly, well, it's actually two because we went last night, but. And we'll have a couple of little tiny fills for this. We'll have tiny stuff for fresh fruit and veg because you guys know I'm a fresh fruit and veg. We, we gotta have it, we go through a lot of it. Speaking of which, you guys did not see then, I had also had a Walmart pickup, and I so didn't have my camera with me and film it. I just didn't think about it. And that was, I think it was Thursday, no, it must have been Friday, I don't know. But anyway, I got six loaves of bread, and I got some more fruits and veg. So do not worry, our fruits and veg are stocked up. I got a big bag of potatoes, and it's been $100. And now we are running into Meyer to grab a few things, but you guys, I just want to holler at Aldi because it is amazing. Two overflowing huge carts filled with food. And what did we spend? Uh, three something. It was about half of what we spent at Sam's last night. Oh, I got it right there. $350.20. It's not quite. It's insane how much we uh, got for that amount of money. It's just, I really should shop Aldi all the time. I really just should. But anyway, okay, we were headed into Meyer, and then we will be home and we'll show you guys all that we bought. All right, I am home. Charles is running Ash real quickly and it literally pulled in and he's gotta run her up to school because she's got a guard competition, which I am excitedly going to tonight. My mother and I are gonna go. We're gonna leave everybody else at home. And I will try and film some of that and share that with you guys tomorrow. Um, bye bye. I, 
and we'll just see what else. Bye bye, baby. Are you gonna go help bring stuff in? Baby. We're gonna bring in Meyer first, guys. All right, so let me get off of here and then I'm gonna jump in and show you guys everything that we got. All right, guys, this is Meyer. So just kind of start over here. You got some frozen juice concentrate, some grape juice, and some apple juice, and some apple cherry juice. We actually want to make some sparkling juice because we love buying that as a treat for the kids. We only serve it in their little special glasses and stuff. And because we got our um, soda maker for Christmas, we're able to just fill the water, make it full of bubbles, and then add the concentrate to it, and it will be a pitcher of sparkling stuff to go with that we also got some orange soda stream just because the kids wanted to try it the sprite we, we broke that out last night and they loved it so we got them an orange one some yogurts here these are mostly charles he likes to have these he loves the peach um and then he got a cookies and cream so the kids could fight over it he said typical dad and then some um strawberry cheesecake and mixed berry yeah. Then we got some coconut yogurt. They're bringing in the Aldi. Thank you, helper. Just put on the ground. You get it in a minute. Oh, thank you, honey. Oh, you're my biggest helper I've ever seen. It yeah, is Let's heavy. go get more. And then here I got um, a key lime coconut yogurt, a blueberry, and this one is a strawberry banana and a raspberry. Theo loves these. And then this is me and Kate a treat because we will love these. These are called pairings. It's a coconut key lime crumble. It's coconut yogurt and then it has like these little crumbles to put in. And the other one is a cocoa almond crunch. I got two of each of those. Krispy Kreme donuts. The kids love these and they were buy one get one half off. So I did go ahead and get two. These freeze really well. It's broke on the top up here already. So I will let them dig into this one a little bit. And then these uh, need to go in the freezer. And Laura bars, I might have had one of these in the car. These are actually just for me to keep in the car, so I have stuff to stay on my plan. These, I wanted them to try. They're Chobani Gimmies. They're creamy, orange, dreamy coconut, or um, regular, uh, like Go-Gurts. Two sausage. I have a Italian sausage. Charles wants me to make um, lasagna one night. Sorry guys, my brain is trying to focus. And then a savory sage so we can make biscuits and gravy one day. Huge bag of rice, my favorite rice. I know it's expensive, don't care. It is my favorite and we go through a ton of rice. Croutons, that's because Charles also wants Caesar salads. I did grab some baked beans because we got all those hot dogs at Sam's so we're definitely gonna be doing some beanie weenie kind of things going on. Better and bullion. I love this stuff. These are Enjoy Life mini chocolate chips. These are chocolate chips that I can have. They are um, plant-based. And then some chicken stuffing mix. I got three boxes of that because we do stuffing at least once a week and Charles loves it and so when I make a big chicken dinner or a pork chop dinner or something, he likes to have a stuffing with it. Juice box is back here. We are go, go, going. And we're staying home at the same time. But Luke is always in the car with me. And we just got a lot that we're always going. So juice boxes are wonderful. And then the high C. This is really Luke and Theo. And um, that is for when we are not at home. Some creamy Caesar. Because Charles wanted that. He definitely made a list of food he wants this month. Then some cook and serve jello pudding because he wants me to make some banana pudding this month. And four of the Concord grape raspberry. I only find this at Meyer, and it is actually Luke's favorite of the V8 Fusions. So I did buy four of those so you can have one a week. Flintstones with iron. This is actually for me because I am needing the iron right now. And this is one of the only vitamins with iron that I can take and not get sick to my stomach. And let's see, lentils. Um, we, our new favorite bean. <laughs> That's all I got to say about that. We are loving some lentils. Charles saw this. It was on sale for 50 cents, so he got four of them. They're dino-shaped mac and cheese. He just thought the kids would like it, the boys. 
and then pop tarts cherry that is because luke does like to have his pop tarts and he only likes the cherry so we needed just some more of that to get us through the month all right that is it for this that's our meyer haul now i'm gonna move all this aside and fill up the table and probably the whole entire dining room with our huge aldi haul okay so just so you guys know behind the scenes look this is what putting together a grocery haul is it's not only go shopping buy all the groceries but then it is set it all up and set it all out so that we can film it all for you guys and you know everybody works together and gets it done charles master organizer and a huge haul like this always takes over to make everything look easy so i can run through it real fast then we have to carry it all and put it all away all right here it is our big haul so i'll just start over here one bag of water softener salt because charles picked up some um not long ago so we just need one two packages of cinnamon raisin bagels two packages of these deli rolls and that's because we're going to make some um chicken parmesan kind of sandwiches charles wanted to try and make and also some meatball subs and then i got eight packs of these flour tortillas there's eight in each so 64 tortillas and then i got a package of just sandwich bags i don't use them that often so this will last way more than a month um but i do use them on occasion i got two boxes of french toast sticks two boxes of waffles these are more for luke and theo everybody else likes homemade waffles and they prefer me to make french toast two of these cherry uh, danishes cherry cheese danishes charles will and jake like those so i pop up those in the freezer and when i don't have a quick breakfast to send them i can grab that cinnamon rolls this is for uh luke and theo they love these and again i'll pop them in the freezer and just get them out when i need them four packs of taco shells one pack of egg noodles because i did get the other amish egg noodles to try but never fails at least twice a month we will do um, noodles with butter and parsley and charles loves that as a side dish with dinner sometimes or at least twice a, a month and then some medjool dates that is for many things that i eat and katie and theo a lot too this hummus variety pack i do make my own hummus you guys all the time but I want this now <laughs> and I love this I love the garlic and I love the jalapeno cilantro it is so good and I will use that with some of my bagel chips and I will eat that or I mean pretzel chips and I'll eat that for lunch here in a minute animal crackers I got two boxes of that um again the family just loves them no reason rhyme or reason they're great to make trail mixes with snacks whatever uh, Sataka seasoning mix that is good for in a pinch or somebody else is doing it life is getting crazy as the play is approaching Ronnie's in and all the guard stuff is picking up so I'm busy in the evening a lot so everybody's got to pitch in and help out more so some crackers that's great for soup and grilled cheese night and chili and stuff like that okay back here we're gonna go into the flats a flat of tomato sauce that goes all the way back there I cannot tell you how many um, there are I just get it by the flat a flat of spaghetti sauce um, and that is because like you saw Charles make dinner the other night one uh, we will go through two um, pounds of spaghetti and two things of sauce in one dinner if somebody's throwing together spaghetti for me real quick a whole case of stewed tomatoes I only needed four of the tomatoes with green chilies to complete my case that I already have downstairs and then a case of corn we are out we just have frozen but that is easier for them to grab and make some green beans French style is their favorite so a case of that a case of diced tomatoes a case of tomato paste a case of spaghettios and meatballs um, Brooke and Ronnie have been requesting that they love for me to put that in their thermos and take it to school for lunch I got four uh, cream corn this is great for a potato corn chowder that I make and a uh, corn just a corn chowder 
And then we also got some of this no bean chili and Charles loves that on chili dogs and they love that in chili spaghetti and we will definitely be having that some too this month. And then over here we have some red delicious apples, yellow potatoes, two things of oyster crackers. This is when we do our skyline which is a chili spaghetti place out here and you put cheese and chili and onions and eat it with oyster crackers all on spaghetti. It's, it's amazing. Four yellow cake mixes. I actually went to buy like 10 and Charles was like, you know it's not birthday month until March and this is February. <laughs> so we only got four because we will go through 10 cake mixes when we have two birthdays. Um, chewy fudge. I do have a brownie mix or two already in the basement so that's just a couple more brownie mixes. And then some double chocolate muffins. I wanted to get blueberry muffin also, but they were out. I did not have any, so I will have to make those from scratch. I have flour, two bags of flour. Back there is some um, vanilla wafers, and Charles wants me to make banana pudding, so that's what that's for. Two packs of graham crackers. They definitely go through graham crackers. They love it with peanut butter and honey on graham crackers. And then, um, Four Jeff corn muffin mix. That is so that I can make um, cornbread. We needed a mayonnaise. Four bags of powdered sugar. I found a recipe to make your own um, hot chocolate mix. So I want to do that too. But then I also just need it for icing and for just so many things that we make. Um, you know, because I'm always cooking from scratch too. Two dozen eggs. I still have two already. And we're just not going through the eggs nearly as fast. So I think that four dozen... If I have to pick up more midweek, then I will, but I think we'll be okay on that. Charles this is one of those, you know, we, we put it out and I'm like, where'd that come from? Charles, that's where that came from. And then some uh, chocolate chips, mini and regular. The sweet and salty, this one is with chocolate. I got two of that. It's dark chocolate, peanut, and almond. And then four of the sweet and salty nuts. The boys all love these and they take them with them to school and work. Two boxes of Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Four cans of this Jumbo Flaky Biscuits. One can of Honey Roasted Peanuts. One can of Cocktail Peanuts. Those are to make trail mixes. Uh, crescent Rolls. Six cans. I do make two at a time to feed everybody. They would like if I made four at a time, but I don't. I make two. <laughs> Cinnamon Rolls. I have three of those. Um, Luke loves those, and he only likes the Aldi brand. And the kids love them too, so I will make that three times this week. I have an interrupter. I feel like I got thrown under the bus on these Oreos. You did. So I bought these Oreos because you wanted to make an Oreo dessert a couple weeks ago. Oh, I do want to make an Oreo dessert. So you weren't going to buy them, but since I found the off-brand Oli brand, I went ahead and grabbed them so you could. Look at you defending yourself. It wasn't for me. <laughs> cutest husband ever. And then I had some non-stick cooking spray, five containers of oats, and the oats are, we literally go through one of those a week, sometimes a little more, because Kate, me, and Theo every day almost eat oats for breakfast, and then the others do some too. Two instant vanilla pudding, that's just very quick. Vanilla pudding dessert, could even crumble some of the Oreos on it, that'd be great. Some dried mango, dried cherries, dried mixed berries. That's all for the trail mixes. Um, provolone. That is going to go with the um, Parmesan chicken. And the Parmesan cheese here is for Caesar salads. He's also requesting Caesar salads. The Swiss cheese we bought to make with the baked sandwiches. Um, another kind that we're having. Then two mozzarella, two Colby Jack. We always make pizza at some point, and we use mozzarella and Colby Jack all the time for everything. Two packages of these um, vegan meatless chicken patties. That is Ash's vegetarian. So when she's on her way out the door for guard, if I need to have something quick because dinner's not ready, I can throw one of these in the air fryer and send it with her. Four frozen orange juice, if I didn't say that already. Two cases of Coke. Charles takes one of these with him to work every day, and he's probably drinking about one a day now. He had really cut back on that, but this weather is just like kicking his butt. So he gets uh, really bad headaches, migraines, so he will drink that for the caffeine. Instant mashed potatoes. 
that I just like to have on hand. One, if they don't feel like making potatoes and they're taking over making something. Two, if potatoes are like too runny or whatever, you can add some mashed potatoes. They're also great to thicken up um, like corn chowder and things like that. So I just like to have that on hand. I have 10 frozen ground turkey. Okay, so lately you guys, I have been saying with the 10 turkey, the reason for that, and that's probably still gonna be pushing it. I have been making dinner the last week and saying, I'm gonna have all this left over, I'm gonna have all this left over. And my family has decided to start eating. I don't know what happened, but they're all eating a ton. So when I am using one of these now, along with a pound of ground beef and I mix the two, I am running out. So I'm actually going to have to up my game a little bit on that, which is totally fine. It's just I got to feel for where they are right now. <laughs> like I'm sure I'm going to make too much now and then I'll, I'll have to play with it to get it just right. But I might have to end up even getting more of the ground turkey um, before the month's out. We'll see what happens. Then a four of the um, honey barbecue sauce, Sweet Baby Ray's. Charles loves the Sweet Baby Ray's. Thousand Island, that's for Ron. One syrup, because I already have a syrup downstairs. Uh, vegetable oil, that is just for when I make brownies and we make um, different desserts like that. Two, two cases of water. This is more just me being paranoid and I want some clean water in the house. Um, that's really the only purpose of that. We don't typically buy that, um, but there you have it. Gallon of milk. This I will mid month have to buy one more gallon we do not go through a lot of milk three whipped cream they like this on ice cream which we did not buy any ice cream but also on their smoothies on banana pudding they put it on everything hot chocolate they love whipped cream almond milk unsweetened almond milk i got three of those and we will um go through definitely that plus more so that will be a mid-month, definitely have to buy again. And then over here, they had these jalapeno popper chips. I got these for Jake because I thought he would love it. He loves anything spicy. The pretzel, everything but the bagel, Slims. I love these are a weakness and I'm totally able to eat these on my diet. So I'm having these with some hummus. In fact, as soon as I turn this camera off. Pretzels because great with marshmallows or whatever, they make a great mix. I'm not on a diet and the everything bagel pieces are awesome. He the loves same. them. I take them up to munch on at night and we're he good. so jumps in and he'll... No, I don't he want any. He grabs them. No, I don't want any. <laughs> but he doesn't Put do hummus. I'm eating mine with hummus. He doesn't do hummus. <laughs> Back to your All right, and then some wavy potato chips. Three bags of the cheese curls. They will kill a bag. You guys remember, it is not me. So everybody else, so nine people. Nine people can go through one bag of chips in a minute. They just, you know, one person can go through a bag of chips, honestly. So some nacho cheese, I just got one of those. You can tell definitely what favorites are around here and what are not. Over here, sour cream and onion, I got three. One of the corn chips, Theo is really the one who loves corn chips. Three of the tortillas, and I already have one bag, and honestly, you guys, that might be something I have to buy again. We'll see. Anytime we have tacos or anything like that, a whole bag will happen to go away because I set it out with salsa and all of that good stuff, and we make bean and cheese nachos and all kind of nachos for snack, after school snack and stuff, so that I might have to buy some more. We'll see how that goes. Okay, here is Costco. I've just got it kind of wrapping around everywhere. So I'll just kind of start right over here. The Lucky Charms and Reese Puffs cereal bars. A big box of this hot and spicy chicken flavored noodles. Jake absolutely loves these and they're great midnight munching while he is studying. So I definitely wanted to get those for him. Some honey, big thing of chili powder because I use so much. This just looked good, fresh salsa. I wasn't try it, I might just try it. My favorite soy sauce. Some maple syrup, sweet chili sauce, a huge thing of vanilla. Four packs of butter, some coffee back there. Motrin, 
I got two boxes of Pop Tarts. These have eight s'mores, eight blueberry, eight cherry, and eight cookies and cream. My crew loves that. A pack of three ketchup, a big Tide, and here I got ready to cook chicken wings. And um, we, we love some chicken wings here. Ham for sandwiches. I'm gonna freeze one and I'll keep the other one. A pack of bacon. There is three packs of bacon in here. This ground beef ground beef and there is six packages here some hot dogs some singles big bag of bacon bits these southern style chicken bites they look like they'll be um, kind of like a chick-fil-a some chicken nuggets these are just quick and easy throw in the air fryer in the mornings because I am not having leftovers like I was having. So I gotta, until I get that figured out, I need some just quick, easy stuff to throw in for lunches. A big bag of dried craisins. Luke goes through these like crazy and the kids love them too. Then here is some um, pork shoulder blade steaks. A big bag of frozen corn. Two big bags of the stir fry mix. A bag of chicken breast tenderloins. Charles is actually going to cook these up. Wasn't that the plan, babe? You cook yeah. these up this weekend in the... Plan is to grill them up, dice in them up. In the smoker. And bag them up so we can have them for like wraps and stuff. So I've got more emergency like food. Single serving kind of stuff. Yeah. That's actually what he wanted. I used to do that way back when. We got it for salads, whatever we need it for. Um, so he'll be doing that this weekend. Yeah, I mean, if you just think about that too, though. If you've got these in a wrap with some mozzarella cheese and a little tomato sauce, that's better than going out and buying a Hot Pocket. There you go. We actually priced the Hot Pockets, and he was like, yeah, that's so not the same, and this is so much better. All right. So, Sorry. Keep going. All right. You're good. Egg noodles. Um, I figure I'll make like a chicken noodle soup and a couple of other things with the egg noodles. Pepperoni. We'll freeze one and they'll go through one. Luke eats pepperoni. That's the only kind of meat he eats at all. And then some of the girls um, love to snack on pepperoni. And Charles does too, actually, sometimes. A big bag of pink lady apples. Pink lady apples are my favorite apples. And I still have to get red delicious when we go to Aldi for Luke. A big bag of string cheese. The kids are killing that. Some frozen strawberries and blueberries. A big thing of gushers and fruit roll-ups here. The kids just like those. Big tub of hot chocolate because the kids like that, especially in this cold weather. Two of these uh, six pound spaghetti boxes because when we make spaghetti, we make two pounds of it. And so that would give us six rounds of spaghetti and we would probably eat that in a month. Car Car oranges. They're our favorite. We love them here. Some red grapes, cotton candy grapes. I might have ate some of those in the car. Some strawberries, cucumbers, mixed peppers. These are just the peanut butter crackers. Again, they're just great for everybody grabbing when they're going to school, especially the college kids can all grab it and um, garbage bags, Nutella, and this is natural, no stir, creamy peanut butter. I got um, two of those, so there's four jars total. Over here, we got some forks because somehow all of our forks are disappearing, our forks and our bowls, and we have no idea what is happening to them, so we're trying to figure that out. And then Clorox cleaning wipes. Keep those in all the bathrooms, and Charles, I think, wants to take one to work. And we're just trying to, you know, keep the germs out of here. Toilet paper, parchment paper, because he has some parchment paper addict. Paper towels. And then over here, some finish for the dishwasher. Pledge. A three-pack of Dawn. They did have the great big um, ones, but I like the smaller because I keep this sit out at my sink. And I don't want a great big one out of my sink. Some Lysol, again, disinfecting everything. And some finish here with the um, dishwasher soap. And then over here is frozen burritos. These are just beef and bean. Again, just a great 
Jake food at night, Will food at night, and then some beef patties. Charles, I think, is going to go on and cook some of them up, and then um, we just have them also. We can do so many different burgers and things like that with that, or Salisbury steak or whatever. All right, there you have it. I think I got everything. If you saw I missed something, holler it out down there. <laughs> I think I got everything, and um, this, he's already choking on how much we spent, but no, and we will have our totals. He will have all that printed out for you in the closing page. You guys, some of this will definitely last more than a month. Some of it won't last a month. So it was a stock up haul. And that's what we wanted to do because winter is hitting us here. Sickness is upon us. And I'm paranoid and I don't want it. So <laughs> that's just real life. And that's why we're doing a monthly haul this time. But actually with my partner in hand, we might do one more in March. We haven't decided. Yeah, I think ultimately what we need to do is figure out what we bought in bulk that's a better price than what we could just get at Aldi. And then maybe it works out we do week, maybe we do every other week, maybe we do one shop at, at Sam's Club that we're just buying some of the bigger stuff that like cleaning supplies, I think some of that was a better deal, but. We're gonna uh, price it all out. Yeah, we're gonna have to price it all out and, and figure out what it is, but. And of course we will share all that with you as we go along. And then when I say we will price it out, it will mean I will read out prices. Charles will make a spreadsheet. <laughs> Charles will organize it and put it in a spreadsheet. Correct, honey? Yeah. And then it will tell us exactly price per unit, which is the better deal. And then we will share all of that with you guys as always, everything that we can we share with you. And the, the bigger risk with doing a monthly haul like this is you run into issues with, for lack of a better word, gluttony. It's easy to walk over and go, man, I got four boxes of these sweet and salty bars. I'm just gonna chow on them for a couple days and then the next thing you know, I've eaten all four boxes in three, four days. So, so we're hiding some of this actually yeah. up in our room. So you guys will see some down in the pantry, but then some we are actually hiding in totes up in our room. And that is how you have to do it because we have a lot of big people, a lot of teenagers. We are, if you're new, a family of 10. So, you know, that's, that's a lot of hands grabbing at stuff. Luke, we had to lock up the cabinets because he found the gushers and I think he ate like six bags of it. <laughs> Nice. No, he had four. He had it was four. four. And he was just like, more, more. We were like, no, nope. no, chill. With, with that note, let me show you what I did with the donuts since we just covered Oh, he wanted donuts. to show the donuts. Hey, so a couple things real quick. I made a peanut butter sandwich while she was doing the grocery haul. Um, for all the nights we're having spaghetti, that sort of thing. Um, I basically took all of the end pieces out of the loaves of bread. You know, this piece is everybody like moves around to go get the fresh stuff. These are all going in a bag. They'll make great garlic toast for those. Um, out of the two boxes of donuts that are left that we bought, I got, well, there's a partial eaten one in a bag over there. Um, but the kids love them fresh, so we lost a few. These five I'll put up for the next couple days. And then for Luke and Theo, two donuts per bag per Luke, one for Theo. Five bags, we bring out those like once a week. Um, which will get us through the month, and then we've got one spare. Nice thing with these Krispy Kremes is if you get them in the box when they're fresh, they will actually freeze and then thaw and be really soft when they thaw. He, he still loves them that way. So those are already prepped and ready for the freezer. So they're not just sitting around waiting on everybody to eat them. Okay guys, we're gonna go on and wrap this up. Um, stay tuned tomorrow if you guys wanna see everything put away. Up. Wash machine's done, kids are doing laundry where we go. And um, if you want to see everything put away and see all the pantry and stuff, stay tuned for tomorrow. I'm going to try and do some meal prep. He's going to smoke some chicken. So we got that prepped and ready. So we'll yep. share that with you guys tomorrow or Monday, depending on how long it goes. Um, but no matter what, we'll be here tomorrow. So <laughs> goodbye, everybody. Have a wonderful night. Bye. And don't forget, stay tuned because now we're sharing the prices with you right now.